Nagaya Wogi, Nagaya Woyinga Marigal. They're my skin names. Uh, Woyin, of course, is the raven, and Wogi is the name given to me as a child. Uh, Waramai, which is our word for welcome. Uh, Waramai um, to Carnegie, and Carnegie is the name of this place, which is uh, a very special monolith in, uh, for our people and for a lot of other people. So in that pluralist concept, it's Gumara Bienga, Gumara Warangra, Maramarong Tianaga Anaga, Maramarong Bayalia, Gamaragal Guri Pemo. And by saying that, we're actually asking for the female and the male spirits for, for permission to talk and, and we're to address them. And we ask for permission to walk and talk in that country and recognising it as the sovereign land of the Gamaragal, which covers the Kamaragal, the Taramaragal, the Barabaragal, the Gatlay, the Gamai, and uh, the sub clans of the Burigal and the Canigal. The Canigal is most important because they're the clan that looked after this country. And by doing that, we do it and it covers the Indigenous and the non Indigenous. So when we do that welcome to country, it's pluralist because it covers everyone who's listening to me or who's around me. This place is a big female pelican. When, when the army created the world, she created two pelicans, a male and a female. And the country was way out to the east where the water was because the water came from her birth sack and when she gave birth to Duraglan, her son. Now, um, she made these two pelicans and the two pelicans needed a place to breed to obviously make all the other water birds because the pelican just doesn't uh, isn't the the ancestor of just pelicans it's also the ancestor of all water birds so um, off they flew and they flew in a course which went north to Newcastle and it flew up and it went up through Tenerfield, Armidale, uh, Glenness and it, it did a sweep around through southwest Queensland. And then she flew, she flew into what we now call Alice Springs to what's called Dingo Rock. And she rested there. And then she flew along the range. And then she flew up around the range across to, um, to the Olgas. And then she flew down to what's Lake Eyre. Now that was the inland sea, it was a permanent sea. And that's where she had her first babies. After she'd had a young, then she came back down. She went down through uh, Spencer's Gulf, around through um, the Gippsland area and up uh, the coast uh, to um, Nowra, up past the volcano at Nowra, she used it as a, as a, uh, as a, a, a geographic site. And uh, so we knew about the volcanoes. Uh, and then she flew and she flew straight up Sydney Harbour and she rested on a rock that was here. She was so exhausted from her first flight, she died. Now when she died, she laid her wings out. Uh, one wing is the, is the point over the back there. Her tail is where the, um, the lookout is. Her head is around where Little Manly is. Her beak is the top part, and Little Manly forms the, the, the lower beak. And where um, Shelley Beach is, and, the, and that favorite sh surfing spot, that's the crest on the top of her head. And uh, if you notice on a pelican, they actually have a crest. Well, when she died, her crest went the other way. Uh, the Canigal were the, the local clan that lived here on a permanent basis. We did move from the winter, we tended to move inland because we you moved for food because it was very cold on the sea uh, front um, and also the fish weren't there so you moved away and you came back in spring. You came back very early in spring actually and usually you came back for birthing. So the Canigal uh, they go from DY all the way down here around Dobroyd Head. It's probably about the extent of like an L-shape um, thing. They were the coastal people. Uh, as soon as you step back a little bit, it's Camaraygal. The message of Karangal always has been, always will be, a place of um, meditation, a place of of truth seeking and a place of knowledge. It's a university, it always has been. It's a, it's a place of great knowledge, it's a place of learning. And it's a place basically of the old people forgiving you for your sins. 
this area has a lot of significance for a lot of reasons. If we can heal the problems here, hopefully they'll percolate right across Australia and we can hopefully heal the problems everywhere else. And that's the, that's the prophecy. What am I? What am I? Nah, nah.